In this video, I will explain the requirements you must meet in order to be eligible to sit for the CPA exam and be licensed in California State. So, keep watching! Hey future CPAs, this is Ala Abudaya. I'm a licensed CPA in the state of Colorado and I help students pass the CPA exam and become CPAs. If this is your first time here and you're interested in becoming CPAs, start by subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell in order not to miss any of my videos. To qualify to apply to sit for the CPA exam in California State, there are certain requirements you must meet. Comment below and tell me if you are planning to apply to California State Board of Accountancy to sit for the CPA exam. Now, California does not have any age requirements or citizenship requirements or residency requirements. However, California requires you to have a social security number for the CPA licensing purposes. So it may not be suitable for international students who do not have a social security number. If you want other state options that are more suitable for international candidates, watch this video, which I gave some good states for international students. Now, to be eligible to sit for the CPA exam in California, you must meet the three minimum educational requirements, which are number one, you must have a minimum of a bachelor degree, which means at least 120 credit hours by a degree granting accredited college or university in the United States. If you studied outside the United States, then you must send your academic credentials for evaluation by NASPA, International Evaluation Services, or any other approved foreign academic accreditation evaluation service. The second requirement you must meet is that you must have 24 semester units of accounting subjects and when I say semester units, I mean semester credit hours. So you must have 24 credit hours in accounting courses like accounting principles, financial reporting, auditing, financial statement analysis, um, also external or internal reporting, taxation, assurance, attestation, bookkeeping, cost accounting, QuickBooks, and others. The third requirement you must meet with respect to the education is that you must have 24 credit hours in business courses, including topics like business administration, business communications, business law, business management, computer science, information systems, and economics. Also, you can take courses like finance, marketing, mathematics, statistics, business related law courses, and others. Does this make sense to you? Comment below and tell me if you meet these educational requirements or not. I want to note here that courses earned at college and universities on a quarter unit calendar must be multiplied by a factor of two thirds to be converted to semester units or credit hours. So for example, six quarter units must be timed by two thirds to give us four credit hours. So these are the, the educational requirements you must meet to sit at California State. I want to note here that California State allows you to sit for the CPA exam in the United States and also in international locations. So it's up to you to sit in any state in the US or outside the US. But both options are okay with respect to California State. Concerning the licensing requirements, they are different from the CPA exam requirements. Watch this video, which I explain the difference between the CPA sitting, sitting requirements and the CPA licensing requirements. Now to be licensed in California state, you must meet the four E requirements, which are E number one, the education. California requires you to have 150 credit hours to be licensed and not 120 as required to sit for the exam. In addition, you must have 20 credit hours in accounting subjects and 10 
credit hours in ethics subjects, which must include three hours in accounting ethics or accountant's professional responsibilities. The remaining ethics hours can be in other business courses like leadership, organizational behavior, corporate governance, human resources, business law, and others. So in addition to the educational requirements to sit for the CPA exam, which included 24 credit hours of accounting and 24 credit hours in business, you must have also 20 credit hours in accounting subjects and 10 credit hours in ethics in order to be licensed. With that said, make sure you fulfill these educational requirements to be approved for licensing in California State. The second E you must meet for licensing is passing the four parts of the CPA exam. To learn about the four parts of the CPA exam, watch this video which I explain about these four parts. And to learn the tips and tricks to pass the four parts of the CPA exam, make sure to watch these four videos which I explained some tips and tricks to help you pass the FAR part, audit part, rig part, and back part. So make sure to watch these four videos after this video. The third E you must meet to be licensed in California is the ethics. So you must pass the ethics exam of California State. This state has its own ethics exam, which is called the California CPA Education Foundation Professional Ethics Examination, which is abbreviated as the PEF exam. This exam is administered by the California CPA Education Foundation. It is a self-study course, and you must pass it within two years of submitting your licensing application. And finally comes the fourth E you must meet to get licensed, which is the experience. You must have at least 12 months of general accounting experience, providing any type of service in accounting, attestation, compilation, management advisory, financial advisory, tax, or consulting skills. This experience may be gained through employment in public, private industry, or government governmental sectors. Make sure your work is supervised and signed by an individual who holds a valid, active CPA license. If your experience is obtained outside of California, you are required to get a written verification from the out-of-state licensing body with which your supervisor holds a valid active license. Experience acquired in academias is acceptable also but with certain conditions like having experience in an accredited university and meeting certain number and types of courses. I advise you to visit the California Accountancy Board website for more details on these conditions. Comment below and tell me if you meet these 4E requirements or not. My next video will be about Delaware CPA requirements, so make sure to subscribe to, to this channel to get this video also. Watch this video about Colorado CPA requirements and this video about the CPA exam structure as well. Remember, go after what you want, pass the CPA exam because you can become CPAs and save the world.